Mel from Mama Buzz here, and I'm here to tell you about the Total Gym XLS, which is basically a total workout system for the whole family. It does resistance training, cardio training, and stretches. So you basically get everything you need right in one system without having to go out to a gym, which can be quite time consuming, especially with kids. When you first open up the box, you're going to want to find your Getting Started DVD and you're going to want to watch that before you try to unpackage the system. In our box, we actually got two extra DVDs that include a couple workouts like Pilates. Um, there's Dan Isaacson's Body Makeover and a six to eight minute workout and a smart training workout. Most of the exercises and workouts with the Total Gym are designed for you to do in six to eight minutes, most of them under ten minutes. So that makes it really nice for a busy mom or a busy dad with kids underfoot. I know I've tried to do video exercising and um, it usually just doesn't work out because I'm not very coordinated or my kids constantly interrupt me. So this I can come in and do in short spurts through the day. But what I really like about the Total Gym is that it comes with this card system and it has over 80 different exercises that you can do. Now when you move this bar up and down it changes the intensity of those exercises so it never grows old essentially. Um, what I want to show you is that there, there's a men's workout and there's also a women's six to eight minute workout with Rosalie Brown and this is just a suggestion of different workouts that you could do for day one day two, day three. So it, it doesn't just leave you hanging. You actually have some guides if you're the kind of person kind of like me who needs a guide to follow. But if you just want to jump in and pick out your own exercises to do every day, everything in these cards is color coded. So for instance, uh, purple stands for chest exercises, green for back exercises, the one I really want to focus on is the maroon for the abs exercises. And um, it's, it's actually really fun to work out with the Total Gym. It also comes with a nutritional program which helps you kind of plan out your meals so that you're not only exercising, but you're also eating right. So you're getting a well-rounded uh, fitness regimen. And it also comes with this poster, which if you have an actual workout room in your home, you could put this poster up and it gives different examples of exercises, all color-coded of course, and with pictures and descriptions. Now these cards, they also give um, the components of the system so you know what each part is, and it, they also show you how to position yourself correctly so that when you do the exercises you're doing them correctly and not hurting yourself in the process. On the website, they compare the size of the Total Gym to an ironing board, so we wanted to put it to the test. And it really does fold up for easy storage. We usually store it behind our closet door, and that way the kids don't bother it, and it's not seen at all until we bring it out to exercise. My husband, Dan, is going to show us how to set it up now. It's really simple and easy, and it's not heavy at all. It's just really simple and easy. Can you show us, Dan? Yes, I can. Okay. This unit does have wheels on the bottom and on the back side, so if you do swing it around, you can easily lean it over and wheel it into the position that you would like. The easiest way is to get it pretty close to the end of the where your feet are going to be. Reach down at the bottom, watch to not get your fingers caught in anything, and slowly pull out on the unit. I usually like to bring it out to about a position to where it feels like it's going to slide apart on me. Then you reach up and grab on the bottom. Be careful not to get your fingers pinched in any of the pieces that, that swing together here. And you can see it will slide right open. And if you're careful, watch out that your cables don't get caught in anything. Lay it flat on the floor. Next step, we're going to grab the upright um, portion of it. And you lift right up into an upright position. There's a pin over here on this edge that needs to be um, locked into place. When you go to set it back up to lay it back down, you need to make sure that you pull that pin out or you could damage the system. Next is your height adjustment. 
There's a lever on the very back side that you pull out similar to a normal latch and then you can just grab with both hands. Sometimes put a foot down here just to hold it and you can pull up to the desired height that you would like. Six is the highest, one is the lowest. I generally like to start out around number three. You let go of the handle, slide down till it locks. And this is not hard at all. I've actually tried it myself and it's not heavy to lift or anything. It's very easy. There's a safety pin that sticks into the side. Sometimes it's a little difficult to find the hole that it slides into. Sometimes you need to pick it up just a little bit, but when it pops in, it tells you that it's completely safe and it won't drop on you. But now we're going to get ready and we're going to show you a few exercises that we both like to do. So just hang tight. Two of my favorite exercises that I like to do is um, the oblique twist, which is number 54 in the pack, and the iron cross snow angel, which is number 12. I'll start off with the oblique twister. Um, the oblique twister is nice because it works the lower ab part of your body. I found that it's easiest in this exercise to reach down and grab both the rings, or one ring if you prefer, first, and slide your seat up, and then sit down on the end, but hold pressure so you don't slide down. You want to start with this exercise in this position, pick your feet up off the floor, and twist. You want to use your upper body and, and, and keep your arms out straight and twist around. The next set is the Iron Cross Snow Angel. And the easiest way to do this is to sit down, put your butt down on the bottom. Flat your feet up, push up, reach above you, grab your handles. This exercise here, you want to start off in this position, and then you just bring it down. Just like the iron crosses that the Olympians do on the rings. Then when you're done, put your foot back down on the rest. Let go of your handles, come down to the stops, take your feet off, and stand up, and you're done. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the exercises that I like to do, and the first one is the pull-up. It's a little awkward at first getting on the board, but once you get on there, it's a really good workout. So, you just have to lay down. Whoops. <laughs> so lay down on the board, cross your feet, and hold on to your handles, and then you pull yourself up. I can really feel it working in my back and my shoulders, and it even it works your arms really well. So the next exercise I'm going to show you is going to be the single leg squat, and uh, for this one you have to lay this way on the board and put your foot in the middle. You want to have your head on the headrest. Hold your left leg up, and then you do a squat. You can do this with both legs, but it just adds an element of intensity doing it with one single leg. And then if you want, you can switch legs so you get the effect on both. Last of all, the exercise I want to show you is uh, the sit-up with cables. But you have to take off the handlebars first. They come off, they're just held on with a pin so it's really easy to take it apart. And then you have to hook your pulley back up. It has a little hook here and underneath your seat there is a hook. And it's actually really easy to put on. And voila! Okay, so for this exercise, you're going to need your handles. And you sit in about the middle of the board. Put your feet up on the headrest. And then you do a sit-up. This is really good for your abs. And actually, I'm supposed to keep my arms straight and just use these as a guide. As you can see, that's really good for the abs. Helps the 
to flatten and tone that tummy area. Okay, and that's about it. Just to recap some of the highlights of what I like best about my Total Gym XLS. It saves me time because I don't have to drag my kids out of the house to a babysitter or to the daycare at the gym. It saves me money because I don't have to pay a gym membership fee. That adds up quite a bit over time. Um, if my husband's gone, it's easy for me to just pull out of the closet and hook it up. It's not hard at all. Young or old, you can do this. It's not heavy. It's very lightweight and easy to do. Um, it is important to never leave your children unattended with the Total Gym. It's too easy for them to get pinched or to get caught up in the cables. So I would stress the safety of your children. I love the storage concept of it, how it folds up and is easy to put behind a door or put in your closet. It's just very simple. Lastly, I am offering a 15% discount below if you click on the banner. It will automatically apply that discount to your payment and I do believe they are offering extra discounts on the website right now. So you would get a pretty good price for uh, the Total Gym. You'll, if you want to try it, if you're just not sure about making the purchase right now, you can try it for 30 days for just a dollar. See how you like it, see if it works for you, let your husband try it out, and go from there. Um, I think that's about it for this review. If you have uh, more questions you'd like to see answered, check out some of our mom bloggers reviews below and they've also done videos so you'll get a different take get their different takes on it as well. And that's the Total Gym XLS. Thank you.